the theme is being a vessels of hope and restoration. But I want to talk about hope and restora restoration after trial. Can we say hope and restoration after trial? Why? Because uh, the, focusing on the theme in the First Peter chapter five verse ten. The Lord is saying that now the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus will personally restore, establish, and strengthen and support you after you have suffered a little while. Ukisha pitia shida kidogo atafanya nini? Ata kuinua. Praise be to Jesus. After you have suffered. So focusing on the passage or on the, on the context of the of the of the book of First Peter, it is an exhortation to persevere trial and persecution. And uh, the internal evidence for those of us who are theologians, we like looking backwards and seeing who wrote this book, why did he write it, and so on. Uh, the internal evidence points to the author as being Peter, the, the apostle Peter, and he wrote to Gentile Christians not to Jewish Christians, but to Gentile Christians, people who had not been uh, formally, who had not known about God, but they were converted and came to Christ in the area of Asia Minor, dispersed in areas uh, called uh, Pontius, Galatia, Cappadocia, Bithynia, a place that will be called modern Turkey today. And Peter is encouraging the believers to persevere. Can we say persevere? under trial and persecution. How? By giving themselves completely to the Lord. Can we say completely? Because when you, we give ourselves completely to the Lord, he, he says we shall be vindicated at the end of our trials. After the manner of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who was unfairly persecuted to the point of death. But after death, on the third day, he rose again. And later, he ascended into heaven. And as we confess, he is seated at the right hand of God the Father. So he was glorified. Jesus suffered trials. So we too, as Christians, are being encouraged by Peter to persevere. Hata ukipitia shida, ambia jirene yako vumilia. Maana, baada ya majaribu, kuna kukwezwa. Buwana asive sana. And the apostle Peter is not speaking as somebody who does not know. He speaks from knowledge. He says, I am a witness. Can we say a witness? I am a witness to the sufferings of Jesus Christ. So at the start of this chapter where our passage, our theme for the woman's guilt is drawn, Peter bases his authority to the believers on the instruction that he's about to give them or the counsel that he's about to give them. Because he says, I am a witness to the sufferings of Christ. Nilijionea mwenyewe, mateso Yesu Kristo alifanya nini? Alipitia. Kwa hivyo, nina mamlaka. I have the authority to tell you what I'm about to tell you. So Peter actually saw the entire passion of Christ. From the time Christ began his ministry and he was rejected by the Jewish leaders, he was betrayed by one of his own disciples, Judas. He was insulted by the Pharisees. He was beaten. And uh, on the cross, his side was pierced and he eventually died. And you can get all that from Matthew chapter 26, verse 47 following. So in view of that, he urges us to humility. Can we say an exhortation to humility? The believers are to clothe themselves with humility towards each other. Why? In the book of um, uh, James chapter 4 verse is, uh, 6 and 7 says, God resists the proud but gives place to the, huh? the humble. Why humility? Again, emulation of Jesus Christ who humbled himself up to the point of dying on the cross. He died on the cross. In the book of Philippians, we are told that let this mind be new, which was also in Christ Jesus who existing in the form of God, did not consider equality with God as something to cling to. But he emptied himself of, of his godliness. He took on the form of a servant, 
being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself up to the point of the death on the cross. Praise be to Jesus. Yesu aliti mpaka siku mpaka 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 wapi? Semeni kifo msalabani. Kifo msalabani. This means that through though Christ was God, he deliberately deprived himself of his godliness, took on the form of a human being and willingly went to the cross to die for you and I. This is humility. Can we say humility? And you and I should willingly emulate that humi humility. How? As we interact with each one another in our day-to-day -day activities, day-to-day -day life, you may be more educated than your neighbor. Ambia jenako nyanyekea. Unaheza kwa na utajiri kuniliko, lakini ufanya nini? Unyanyeke. Pengine watoto wako wamesoma kuliko wangu, wamekwezwa, bado ufanya nini? Semeni nyanyekea. This should not be a cause of boasting. Rather, we should become servants of each other after the manner of Jesus Christ. The Bible, Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 28, 20 verse 28, just as the Son of Man did not come to be what? Can we say to, to be served? But to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. Ambia jirani yako, tumikia wengine. Ukimfuata mfano wa nani? Wa Yesu Christo. Praise be to Jesus. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life an, as, an, um, as a ransom for many. And we are told, following this manner, that if you humble yourself, then exaltation will come after humility. Can we say exaltation? Kuinuliwa ama kukwezwa. Just after the man of Christ, after he humbled himself to the point of dying to the, on the cross, he paid the ultimate price for his church. He was exalted by the Father to sit on his right hand. We too shall be exalted by the Father in due time. Can somebody say in due time? In his appointed time. And that's what I've, I, I was we opening this a week uh, this last Monday, I was telling the Women's Guild that this calls for patience. Can somebody tell your neighbor patience? Uvumilif. Uvumilie, alafu mungu atafanya nini? Atakukweza wakati ufao. But many of us are not patient. I want God to move for me now, now. Today, today. But you need to be patient. I need to be patient. Don't seek for people to acknowledge what you have done. We thank God for uh, Mama Nyakenyo who has been acknowledged, but not many people will acknowledge you in this world. And we thank God for what she has done. But don't wait for people to, to acknowledge what you have done. Just wewe nye nyekea mbele za mungu. Nae wakati ufawa utafanya nini? Semeni hata kukweza. Maida maria mageri niyaka kwa baralie. The right time he shall lift you up. Sometimes also we force other people to, 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 to show us thanks or give us thanks. Please don't do that. Let them do it of their own accord. Mbwana asifiwe. The Apostle Peter continues to say that you and I need to cast our cares upon the Lord because he does what? Can we say he cares for us? We all have anxieties. We all have cares. We all have burdens that are sometimes seemingly so heavy to bear. As we saw those burdens that our sisters were throwing down. The burdens of what? Theft, of immorality, Zingine nisikia kama mulisikia? Atikaru manzira? Eh, witchcraft, eh? Eh, na zingine gani? <laughs> Corruption? Eh, which others? At, at his sponsor? Eh, siku zi, eh, lakini zingine wanataja, wanaongesa, eh? <laughs> lakini, 
hizo zote na zinginezo bwana sio sana others may not even be in that category you, ju- you, you just have a burden for your family the things are not going in the right dire- direction hauna school fees ya kutosha kwa ajili ya watoto wako pengine uko na ugonjwa your health is failing you have burdens whisper to your neighbor take them to the lord jesus christ take those burdens to the lord because he he cares for you he really cares he does not pretend to care you know there are some people who pretend to care eh? they are helping you but not sincerely but with an agenda ambia jana yako yesu hana agenda nyingine yesu agenda yake ni kukusaidia utoke katika ile shida uko nayo na upate kupata pumziko litokao kwake praise be to jesus hallelujah but some can help you not because of their sincerity but some can help you because as a mess sometimes even as a bribe for you to turn a blind eye to their failures hello <laughs> anakusaidia ili naye akija utafanya nini utamsaidia ama utafunga jicho kwa ile shida ambazo wako nazo ama ile eh, ubaya ambayo amefanya hapana jesus is genuine tell your neighbor jesus is genuine He is 101% genuine. He is he really cares for you. He cares for me. So you can take your burdens to him. You can cry to him in, at night and he he who sees in secret will reward you in the open. Praise be to Jesus. Hana liria ruga mite kigongo na ine kiama. Huoro inge ngoro na maithori mamwere. Keria kenyoroli kia moiru epenino kemohe mwana ne tondo welinga ine nakogosha mwadhani ni utaidagia ngoro ya kwa hendere tereire rere andu mandiga neria kora guha mwenani ni ndakogosha ne tondo welimwega so the hanas were in this house and the men who are in this house who are also maybe the jabezis who are crying to the lord for his intervention there is a god who hears praise be to jesus there is a god who sees your pain he sees your tears and he comes and rewards you in the opportune, uh, opportune time even if you have the peninas of this world they shall always be there tell your neighbor they shall always be there Eh hey, ambao wanakudhi haki wanasema huyu naye ni wanini? <laughs> eh hey, wana kafea dangekat. <laughs> Dangeshia lira. Hello. Hata wakiwa wakisema mambo kama yale Mungu yuko. Praise be to Jesus. Si Yesu ali, Mungu alikuja <laughs> na akamte, akamtembelea. Praise be to Jesus. The Jabezes who are here who have been cast were cast by their by their uncles or their fathers god is the one who is able to turn those curses around and bless you praise be to jesus but in view of all this the apostle peter is also tell- saying something to us be watchful can you say be watchful be alert eh, remain vigilant be on guard be sober minded Peter is exhorting the believers of the diaspora and this should be also you and I to be on red hot alert to kai rada katika imani yetu ambia jana ko kai rada katika imani eh maana tuko kazi safarini na na safarini hii inaelekea mwisho the bible says somewhere that our salvation is much nearer than when we first believe as i was seated here as, as we were praising and worshiping the lord I was reminded that surely from the time God began began to speak through his prophets and we are told that in the in the book of um, Genesis chapter 5 we had people like Enoch who was a preacher of what can you say righteousness and he prophesied of the returning of the Lord Jesus Christ he spoke that he behold he comes with 10000 of his angels whisper to your neighbor that day is coming Yes the Lord is coming mwadhani ni arashoka tinganoshia malimo bwana asiwe sana 
the Lord is surely coming. You and I need to be prepared because the son of righteousness, his name is Jesus, is coming for a righteous church. So be prepared. We spot in about be on guard. Timahida ma kweli woke roho. Nimahida ma gui karawe iguete. Timahida ma gui tu kania. Tell your neighbor that time is past. The, pa the time for one foot in the church, the other foot in, 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 in Christ is over. That time is already over. That today you are in church and you are holy. Eh, vile makanisa zetu za zamani ziko zandiko pale ateshemaga ugetonya nyumba yangai tell you neighbor you ni past tense ni goto ni goi kara muturire wa gutoro shemete bere yangai from 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 a monday mpaka sunday hallelujah be holy at all times not just sunday hello let us not be, somebody call them submarine Christians. That uh, um, on Sunday they have been so holy because they have been in the presence of God. We have worshipped and praised the Lord. But on Monday they begin to descend in the sea of the world. The sea of corruption. Hallelujah. <laughs> the sea of corruption. The sea of immorality. The sea of, of nini. Of uh, uh, funny, funny things that are done. Eh, of the corruptions and the wickedness of the world. And if you look for them on Wednesday, who are party? Ata simu yake ni nini? Semu ambia jira kwa ni muteja. Hapatikani. He is not found. Or she is not found. They only begin to emerge on Saturday. Because they, Sunday, mudha nyawake uwa igeadhi. Hello, the day of communion is coming. Tell your neighbor, be clean at all times. Be on the surface at all times. Don't be a submarine Christian. Because what if the day of the Lord comes and it is coming? As I was there, I was visualizing it is coming. What if it finds you off radar? Karada. Ambia janako karada. In the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 1, following, Jesus Christ is remonstrating with a church called the church in Sardis. The Sardis church had a ch reputation of being alive. But he says, you are in fact dead. And he tells them, wake up. Ambia jenako, ni wakati wa kuamka. He exhorts them to wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die. Why? Be on red hot alert. Why again? Because he says we have an adversary. Can we say an adversary? Your adversary, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Adu yenu, semeni shetan. The accuser of the brethren. Your adversary, the devil, the opposer, is actively seeking an opportunity. So when you are in the submarine world, and I think I gave an example. Let me repeat it for those who are not there. Um, when we were much younger, there was, I gave an example of, um, there was a Congolese musician eh, who was called Franco Luambo Makaidi. So Franco Luambo Makaidi, alikuwa naimba zile nyimbo, Zalingala, akimba, kila mtu anafanya nini? Eh? Ana, anabambika, ana, ana, anaingia katika hizo nyimbo, zinambeba. It will be like a, a craze has come. People are singing that, those the, his songs. Until one day he got saved. Somebody say hallelujah. He got saved and he recorded, his, somebody interviewed him and recorded his, his uh, testimony on a drum magazine. And I remember reading it those many years ago. And this is what he said. That when I was still on the other side, kabla seja okoka, usiku tulikuwa tunateremka chini ya bahari, tunakutana na shetani, anatupatia tunes za nyimbo, 
ambazo tunakuja kuche kucheza ndipo sasa mnaona ziko na attraction ziko zinavuta watu maana ziko na ziko na nini ziko na upako wa kishetani zinavuta watu Halo? ambia jana akatoa siri akatoa siri ya nini ya kwa shetani that tulikuwa tunafanya hivi so that's why we also say this there's no way you can you can uh, take from the, from the world of satan and bring to the church so you cannot sanitize what comes from the devil tell you but you can't you cannot take ile shetani amepeana we to, we at we we may badilisha your tunes at umeweka nao gospel eh, 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 words or biblical words it will not work its origin is not from the lord bana yesu asifiwe and the lord is not bankrupt that's why the bible says he gives me songs in the night praise be to jesus ana nipatia nyimbo usi na hawa waimbaji watakuambia kweli wakati ako vizuri amekaa vizuri na bwana usiku unapata nini wimbo mpya hata mimi hiyo imekuja mara mingi mimi sio mwimbaji kama hawa lakini usiku wakati umetafuta uso wa Mungu unemsifu saa nyingine wimbo mpya unakuja ambayo sijai kuimba mbeleni na nikiwa kijana nilikuwa nikisema hiyo wimbo nitaenda nifunze watu kesho lakini kwangu nakuta imepote imepotea lakini nilikuwa na, is, na, na msifu bwana katika huo wimbo So ene to cut a long story short Franco Luambo Makaidi akasema walikuwa na shuka e, chini ya bahari wanakutana na shetani anawapa hizo tunes but when he, he, he came to Christ he revealed that's what they were doing but unfortunately after remaining about six months in Christ tell me he backslid akarudi nyu aliporudi nyuma hakuka sikumbuka alikam a very short time he died shetani akamgonga akamuua tell you neighbor your adversary the devil is roaming around seeking like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour that is why my brothers my sisters it is not time to joke around with your faith it is time if you are in christ remain in christ tell your neighbor if you are in christ remain in him Haujamwambia vizuri. Tamwambia muangalie kwa macho. Agikora wewe ni wa Yesu ikara kwa je? Doa koro wewe ili geto moro wa idhaitu mwari wa idhaitu. Usipatikana na hiyo janga lilipatwa na nani? Na Franco amekuja kwa Yesu lakini amerudi nyu. Shetani akajua, "Oh, you have come back." Na ni wewe umeni expose akamgonga akamua. Lakini angekaa kwa Yesu hizo shida hasingafanya nini azisinga limpata asinga likutwa na hiyo shida aliyopatwa nayo ndugu yangu dada yangu agekoro wa Yesu I, i plead with you the lord is coming remain in christ hate sin divorce yourself from it and you shall receive that crown of life praise be to jesus is somebody hearing something really It is not time to joke around. It's not time to soil your garment. Let your garment be white because the Lord is coming. The enemy is there seeking for an opportunity. If you give him an inch, he will take a mile. May God help. But we are being told this, resist him firm in your faith. Can we say firm in my faith? James chapter 4 verse 7 says submit yourselves therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee from you so we have an opportunity to resist the devil when we have first done what can we say submitted ourselves to God ukishajipeana kabisa kwa Mungu unaweza wakukutana na nani na shetani naye atakutorokea bwana asifiwe sana When you have first submitted yourself to the Lord in obedience to his word in obedience to his holy spirit when he speaks to you in a still small voice 
you shall have the opportunity to say no to Satan, no to his corruptions, no to his immoralities, no to his witchcraft and other funny things that the enemy is bringing our, along our way. You shall be able to say no to all those filthy suggestions of the devil because you have first of all submitted yourself to the Lord. And again, we should follow the example of our Lord Jesus Christ by his knowledge of and use of the word of God. Remember when Satan tried to tempt Christ, that if you are the son of God, turn these stones into bread. What did he say? It is written. And my brothers and sisters, I, I, I exhort us, I encourage us. Can we hide the word of God in our hearts? Take time to hide God's word. Take time to put that word inside you. And when it is inside you, the Holy Spirit shall bring it to mind in the time of need. Buana asifi san. And you shall be able to tell, no, Satan, no, it is written. But you cannot tell him it is written. If you don't, no. And again, the Bible says somewhere in the book of Romans chapter 10, verses 17, faith comes by and hearing by the word of imani huja kwa kusikia na kwa kusikia kupitia neno la mungu. So ikiwa huja sikia neno, hauna imani. In kama sasa vile nimehubiri kupisi, kupitia neno, imani na jengeka ndani yangu. Oh, kwa hivyo ninaweza kumkata shetani. Eh, hey, nina uwezo. I can refuse Satan. I can resist him. I can resist his suggestions for, for corruption, for theft, for immorality, for whatever. I have the power. We have give, been given authority. Wamasai unasema, eshoge kengitoria, nimepewa nini? Sama ni mamlaka. Kupitia neno la nani? La mungu. Tumepewa mamlaka. Nitu hetu hinyana wadhani. We have been given power. Tumegiwe, tumepewa mamlaka. Hallelujah. But, why is it, is, we are going to be given all that, but after what? Some sufferings. Can we say sufferings? And he calls them common sufferings. The apostle Peter tells the believers to expect persecution and trials and not see them as something strange. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12, he says that the believers are undergoing similar persecutions. The problem you are facing is not unique. Can we say not unique? Ambia jenako ni kawaida. Wee siyo wakwansa. Kuna wengi? Wengine wamashai kupitia hiyo jaribu ambayo inakupitia, unapitia. So resist the enemy. Vumilia shida. Na ukisha vumilia shida ambayo unapitia. Majaribu na yopitia. Vumilia. Vumilia moyo wangu. Majaribu. Ni kama moto yanayochoma imani yangu Bwana naomba unisaidi e natoka kwako shetani hapana ndani yangu iwe sala Yesu nifiche nisionekane Bwana Naomba unisaidi Yevo milia Wangu Majaribu Ni kama moto Yanayochoma Imani yangu Bana naomba So the Apostle Paul Peter is saying that After sufferings After suffering a little while the Lord will come and exalt you. A little while. How little is little? I don't know. The Lord knows. But the Bible says, a little while. Kwa muda mfupi. Muda mfupi wako siju ni upi. Lakini Rome takatifu anajua. Mana Biblia inatuambia katika kitabu cha wa Korintho wa kwanza mlangu wa kumisata wa kumina tatu. Kwa mba, hawezi kubali jaribu likukute Lile usiloweza kulistahimili. Praise be to Jesus. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what? Your ability. So tell your neighbor, those that have come, you are able. You are able to do what? 
to withstand them. You are able to withstand them. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond your ability to bear. First Corinthians chapter 10 and verses 13. So after you have been tested, after being tried a little while, then you are now prepared for what? It's a restoration. Because if you have not been tried, you have not been tested, what are you being restored? But after we have been tried for a little while, after we have been tempted, after the enemy has attacked us and we have survived, then the Lord can restore us. He can confirm us. He can strengthen us and establish us by his grace. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. And we talk about restoration. What are we meaning? In the book of Job chapter 42, verse 1 following, you may remember the whole story of Job. We cannot go up through it. That the Satan, the accuser, can we say the accuser? The accuser accused Job that this man only loves you because you have blessed him, protected everything that he has. So just stretch forth your hand and touch, touch what he has. And God allowed Satan to touch what Job had. And everything that he had was destroyed. His ch ten children died. His multi-million hearts were stolen, killed, uh, burnt with, with fire from, from above. And he was left also a sick man. And he was even told by his wife at that time, Webe jama umei? Umeisha. Tukana mungu ufanya nini? Ufe. But he stuck to his integrity. Praise be to Jesus. Ambia jene yako shikilia imani yako. Because the restorer is alive. Praise be to Jesus. Mugori eke emuoyo. Our restorer is alive. There is a redeemer. There is a redeemer, Jesus, Son of God, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, oh, for sinners slain. Thank you, oh, my Father, for giving us your Son, and Lee. Vain your spirit till the work on earth is done. So that Jesus came, that God came, and he restored what the enemy had stolen. Job chapter 42, verses 1, following. He was given how many? Can we say double-double? Eh, alilipwa marambilimbili, twice as much as he had before. In Joel chapter 2, verses 25, God is saying, that I will restore to you the years that the cankerworm has stolen or has eaten. The, the great army that I allowed, notice that I allowed to come and destroy you. I will restore to you. May God restore to us. Yes, those of us who have suffered, we have stood firm for the Lord Jesus Christ. Then a time of restoration is coming. Somebody should say amen. A time of Restoration is coming as time of being paid by our God. Hallelujah. Also a time of confirmation is coming. Confirmation, what do I mean? That God will make it plain to all that he has established us, he has chosen us, he has exalted us. Confirmation is equal to what? Can someone say approval? Approval that we are his choice. As what he did for Moses, as recorded there in that verse that I've meant, put there, Numbers chapter 12, verse 1 to 8, that when um, Moses was challenged in his leadership by none other than his own brother Aaron and his sister Miriam, Mungu akaja akatetea nani? Mus akamtetea. He says, why were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? If there is a prophet among you, I will speak to him in visions and dreams, but not my servant Moses. I speak to him face to face. Why were you therefore not afraid to touch and speak against my servant Moses? And Miriam came from there, a leper. She has touched the Lord's anointed. Whisper to your neighbor, confirmation is also coming. Yes, may God confirm us 
and made be plain to the world that God has confirmed us as his servants. Praise be to Jesus. For you who has suffered, for you who has gone through a difficult period, the Lord is able to confirm you. Praise be to Jesus. As he did it for Moses, he's able to do it for us. Katika lalani. Then he also says he will also strengthen us. Yes, we have suffered trials. The enemy has come. He's able to strengthen us by his mighty power. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16 says, by strengthening us with his power through his spirit in the inner man. At may, the, may that God strengthen you through his mighty power, through his Holy Spirit in the inner man. Praise be to Jesus. Mutuako andani, apewe ngufu, kustahimili kida zingine zitakazo kuja mbeleni. Buwana aswe sana. Tupewe ngufu. Somebody should say amen. And I, when he strengthened us by his power, I was also telling the woman's guilt that a time is coming that Lord is also strengthening his body. The true church, a time is coming that he's going to strengthen us again. He's going to pour out his spirit upon us again to fulfill Joel chapter 2 verses 28. And it shall come to pass in the last days that I pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall do what? Can we say prophesy? The Lord wants to use them. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall do what? Dream dreams. Hey, no, visions here za, za wase. I'm sorry, visions ni za vijana. Hey, your, your young men shall what? See visions. Whisper to your neighbor, the time is coming. Yes, as we yearn to be used of God, he's going to strengthen us. That even when the enemy tries to come again, he shall find us strong again. He'll strengthen us. And my prayer then is that, Father, restore your glory upon your body, the body of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May he cause his giftings, his anointings. The Lord is saying this. Praise be to Jesus. And then the young men are seeing visions of what God is going to, to use them in this last day and age. Anointings, wisdom, counsel, might, the fear of the Lord. And Jesus Christ said, truly, truly, I say unto you, he who believes in me, and I near me, the works that I do, shall he also do. And greater works than these shall he do. This scripture is yet to be fulfilled. Hello? Yes, wali sema, maudumaria jikaga, alia maje tikiti ni mageka na makiria. Are we yet to see that? We are not yet to see it. So, the time is coming. But only for the church that is ready. That is ready for that. Praise be to Jesus. He's going to strengthen us. Somebody should say, Lord, visit me. Praise be to Jesus. I want to be strengthened. That you can use me as a vessel of honor. Yesterday as we went for the mission and evangelism retreat, the facilitator was saying that the, the Lord is going to use us. And he, there's something we call power evangelism. As God used the church in the early church age, the book of Acts, that remember when Peter and John went to the temple and there was a beggar and he found them. And, and they found that beggar. The beggar uh, begged for money. What did Peter and Paul say? Uh, Peter and John say? Silver and? Have we none? But what we have we give to you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. It is something that actually took place. And in this last day, the Lord is also going to raise up a similar anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. And people who shall be used by God in a similar manner. Those who are ready. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Some are already doubting me. But some are believing. 
Bwana asiwe sana. You better believe because it's going to take place upon those whom God will choose to use. Bwana asifiwe. So my prayer is that Father restore your glory. That the works that as you you say as you spoke Jesus Christ because he's the one who spoke it it's not me. John chapter 4, 14 verse 12 that the works that I do those who believe in me greater works than this shall they do. We have only seen a few, a small a few things. We need to see more. And we have said faith comes by what? Can you say hearing? And hearing by the word of God. So as I've spoken to you, maybe somebody here is going to desire, Lord, why can't it be me? Why can't I be the one to be used of you? Lord, I will set myself apart. I want to be clean and pure. Use me. Lord, prepare me to be a, a, a sanctuary. That song that we used to sing. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary pure and holy tried and true so true with thanksgiving I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Something has come to mind that some of us probably have ever been used by God in the past. It is a time for God even to restore that anointing. Praise be to Jesus. And some of us were there. We need to get back there. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, I remember to kill Vijana. This one time we went to Masailand and um, we were called outside. We had after we had done a mission, we were called outside of a church and brought to a man who was lying on the ground. And we were told, We and Itaji Maombi. And he was uh, similarly unconscious. And we held hands as young men and we prayed for that man. And by the grace of the Lord, he rose up. Praise be to Jesus. There are many, many kinds of testimonies of that kind. But we don't want testimonies za, za mtondogo. Tunataka buwana atembe tena. Praise be to Jesus. Atutumie tena. Na anaweza. Anaweza, anaweza, anaweza. Mana, yeye ni buwana. He shall also do what? Establish us. How is he going to establish us? This means to anchor us, make us immovable against any future attack by the enemy. An example is the prophetic word of the Lord spoken through the prophet Nathan to King David concerning the Israelites in 1 Chronicles chapter 17, verses 9, which says that also I will ordain a place for my people. Israel, and I will plant them, and they shall dwell in that place, and shall be moved no more. Somebody should say, Amen. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more as at the beginning. May this happen even in our generation. That God to establish us, immovable. When the enemy comes, he finds you immovable, unshakable. It also means making us solid in our faith and inheritance in Christ Jesus our Lord, who is blessed forever. Praise be to Jesus. And now touching on the first reading. Israel is an example of restoration. Can somebody say amen? The Lord, in this passage, I'm summarizing it, declares that he has loved Israel with an everlasting love. And that's also how he loves you. Whisper to your neighbor, God loves you with an everlasting love. Unless you reject his love, he loves you with an everlasting love. One that cannot be dampened or diminished. Just as parents love their children. Some of you have wayward children, but you have never thrown them out, isn't it? Some of you have children who have disappointed you. But have you disinherited them? The, the answer is no. No. The same way, the Lord loves us with an everlasting love. Amen. Somebody should say amen. Even we who have done things that are not right to him, we have disappointed him many a time. So as a heavenly father, he should have said enough is 
enough shaka na nisha katia aya digo shoka kwetania nao but he has been merciful to us he has been gracious to us he loves us with an everlasting love praise be to jesus the same lord who caused the captivity of the israelites to take place he's saying that i will turn back and regather my people he promises to bring them from the northern country which is this northern country the northern kingdom called israel was taken captive by the, the 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 nation of assyria they were taken captive and we are told those ones were that were dispersed some became uh, uh, they were called the lost tribes of israel dan was lost lost for uh, uh, several thousand years so is the lord is saying i will regather them from the farthest parts of the earth and for me I see this prophecy has already been fulfilled prior and post 1948 when the nation of Israel was reborn after having been non-existent for about 2500 years from 5 to 6 BC in the Babylonian captivity to 1948 those are 2500 years and the Lord brought back the children of israel and the regathering of of israelites and why had god scattered them because of their sins but he says i love you with an everlasting love so god's love redeems god's love forgives and reconciles so god has continually been bringing back the israelites back into israel even from our own africa some jews went from ethiopia called the falasha jews they began to go to israel in 1986 onwards a great feat pointing to the omnipotence of god praise be to jesus hakuna chochote asichowe asichoweza kutenda the ultimate fulfillment of this prophecy is yet to be accomplished a far greater future lies ahead for this nation of israel in the days to come if you read verse 14 he says that I will feast the souls of the priests with abundance. People are talking about there's going to be another temple built again in Jerusalem. Other is this full a prophecy cannot be fulfilled in its in its entirety if that does not take place. So somebody should say amen. And God who performed that and is performing that is able to do the same even for us. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Whisper to him but trust your life with him and trust your life to him. Ujamwambia and trust your life to the Lord. And believe for your own restoration of your family, of your faith, of your walk with God. And after you have been restored, you can now become a what? Can we say a restorer? Yes, because if you have been restored, you can now restore others. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ikiwa Mungu amekutembelea sasa you can also become a vessel of what honor as the woman's guild have been saying after god has restored you after god has visited you with this visitation you can now become a what a vessel of restoration bwana asiye sana after israel was um, came back after the babylonian captivity she became aligned to be a channel to receive the ultimate restorer his name is who can we say jesus christ and jesus was manifested in israel after the babylonian captivity and you, after you have tasted the restorative power of christ in your own individual life you can now be able to point others to jesus christ bwana asiye san you can point others to christ and tell them that yesu ameniokoa atawe anaweza nilikuwa nimefungwa na dhambi nilikuwa nimefungwa na na hiki na kile kingine kama vile hao wadada wali demonstrate wame ulikuwa umefungwa na unywaji wa pombe usherati ukahaba na mambo mengine machafu ambayo yasioweza kueleweka ama kutamkika lakini Yesu akakukomboa praise be to Jesus ikiwa amekukomboa anaweza kukomboa wengine bwana asiye sawa And that's why each one of us is a preacher each one of us is an evangelist if god has done something for you tell your neighbor you need to tell it to others not not here in church here i'm preaching to the converted unless we have a few people 
who have, uh, we are told there, there are a few people, they have been hearing the word, but have not yet come to, to, to the point of saying that yes, you born. There are just a few. And I believe that this word is not coming in vain. That today or tomorrow or the other day, that they will also declare that Christ is Lord. But we need to take it out there. Tell your neighbor, out there. If you obey this gospel commission and say, Mbwana naomba, naombea jirani yangu, ambaye haendagi kanisa, nisaidie ni muonyesha upenda wako. And you go there and share the word of God with him or her. You shall win one person to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to Jesus. And we are saying that if we all obeyed this commission, and we each brought one person to the kingdom of, of heaven, brought one person back to this church that was not, it was an unbeliever out there. We shall have to tell the CBM chair that tutabomoa hikanisa. Mana tutoshe? Is that a welcome problem? Yes, the chairman is saying that it will be a welcome problem. He would want to deal with that, uh, that problem. Tell your neighbor, it will only happen if you go out. That you have been restored. Can you go and restore others? The Bible is saying in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 18 to 20, that we have, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Praise be to Jesus. That God sent Jesus Christ to reconcile the world to himself. And after here we have been reconciled to, to God. He has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Can somebody say reconciliation? Huduma ya upatanisho. Kama vile tumepatanisho na mungu. Na sisi tupatanisho wengine na mungu. Nimepatanisho na mungu. Na nikisha patanisho na mungu. Na heza patanisho na watu wengine. Na ni wafanya na wao wapatanisho na nani? Na mungu. Bwana asifi sana. Whisper to your neighbor, go out. And become a vessel of what? Restoration. A vessel of honor. Restoring others to the Lord Jesus Christ. Restoring them to the faith. Restoring them to the relationship that God wants them to have with him. Yes, some have been far from the Lord. But if God has touched you, if you have tasted and seen of the goodness of God, you can now become a vessel of restoration. You can become a vessel that God can use to reconcile others to himself. Praise be to, to Jesus. My prayer is that his plan for us as restorers, as reconcilers, may be fulfilled as we obey his word, as we don't keep quiet with his word, as we go out to others, praise be to Jesus. Don't hate them. Hate sin, but not the sinner. Praise be to Jesus. Hate the sin, but love the sinner. And bring them to the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want to say so much. Maybe I've said a lot. But the Lord is telling us that he is able to, to give us hope and restoration. After you have gone through trials, and after we, he restores us and he gives us hope, we can also give that same hope to others. Let us stand to our feet.